Well, good afternoon, guys. We're alive at five. We're we're alive. We're, we're live at five. Can I get an amen? On the five o'clock news, glory to God in the kingdom. Nothing but good news. Can I get an amen? And uh, oopsie daisy, I've got to get me a new little holder here. So great to see you guys on Life Nuggets number one sixty five. And I'm trying to do two a week now, uh, like I'd initially done, Tuesday, Monday or Tuesday and Thursday, amen, with an occasional Saturday morning, you know what I mean, to just get the word out. And hopefully these are being a big encouragement to you. Uh, I know they're really just uh, not only encouraging words, but they're teachings and they're training sessions to equip you to live an overcoming, victorious life uh, in the kingdom. And, uh, you know, it don't take much, really. Just do a few things well. And, uh, you know, I'm really big on, on prayer. Uh, this one's going to be called the Atomic Power of Prayer on worship, on giving, and uh, doing, doing these things, you know, fasting, seeking the Lord, uh, which just brings dynamic power into your life. I know that uh, my I'm uh, going to have another little book out soon called Supercharging Your Life. You know, you can listen to the podcast at my website, danaingram.org. We're getting that formulated. It'll be a little book, like my testimony book, and uh, I'll do that and just basically give those away as I'm waiting for my 21 Nuggets book through Newman Springs, and it is now in the typesetting process. So again, as I told you a couple of months back, it'll take a while, but it will be a bona fide book that you better be get at Barnes and Noble, Amazon, the whole kit and caboodle. And I'm going to need my good friends to help me out on this one now and buy the book. I got one of my friends that said they want 35 books. And I said, well, good, because it costs a lot of money to get this bad boy printed up, but it's an investment in the kingdom. Amen. And my hope is that through the book, through the music, that the ministry can be self-propelling and self-fulfilling, you know, and keep going and rolling and flowing, amen, all over the world for the glorious gospel of Jesus to touch lives and to encourage lives. And hopefully these nuggets are encouraging you. So now I want to talk to you today on Life Nuggets number 165 on the Atomic Power of prayer. Now, friends, we hear teachings on prayer. Churches all the time preach on prayer, but there's very little prayer done. Can I get an amen? Now, we can have a spaghetti supper. We can have a visiting preacher. We can have all kind of stuff like that, softball games and, you know, golf tournaments and all that stuff. And I've been a part of those. And we can draw a crowd, amen, but the most powerful ministry in the kingdom, the most powerful ministry in the church, the most powerful ministry uh, and thing you can do in your life is to be an intercessor and to be a prayer warrior, amen, and to pray and seek God. So to have the atomic power of prayer in your life, and to see things happening in your life, in your church, and in your nation. And I'm telling you, God, in the nation and in the earth, because of some valiant, per persevering intercessors. You know, Jesus said, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith or people praying in the earth? And my friends, through, through the powerful intercession of many, many people, God is moving in the nation Amen. Moving through the economy, moving in the military, moving. Amen. As Trump and Kim Un Kim Jong are going to have a meeting, uh, ISIS is getting routed. Amen. Uh, so God's people, the church is moving. Israel being blessed, and God's people, Amen, need to wake up and look up and realize that we are on the winning side. And if we will pray, amen, God will act in a powerful way. There's no reason for anybody in the kingdom of God to be defeated. And the only failure, listen to Brother Danny now, the only failure in your life, the only failure in your church, the only failure in your marriage or with your children 
is a prayer failure. I want to say that again. The only failure is a prayer failure. Because when we quit praying, we quit having the power we need. We keep see, we don't see things happening. And our prayers cover people, sanctify family members, and does powerful things and builds the kingdom of God. It's our heritage. Can I get an amen? So, if I say so. Uh, for those who hear this, I just pray the spirit of prayer will come upon you, that you'll be inspired by the power of the Holy Spirit to pray. Now, the atomic power of prayer, I'll just be just a few minutes. Uh, you know, when, when Jesus comes back, when the dead in Christ rise, we who are alive will remain are caught up together in the air. Uh, when the trumpet sounds, amen, they'll be, tra they'll be changed in a twinkling of an eye. Now, the twinkling of an eye, check this out now, is, no, is, is one one thousandth of a second which that is an atomic second. So in an atomic second, bam, when the Lord comes, we're going to be changed. At that moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, can I get an amen? And hallelujah, Jesus is going to rule and reign for an ever, ever. But anyway, in an atomic second, uh, just like that. Now, the atomic power of prayer is this. To have the atomic power of prayer operating, to see great victories and great movements and great blessings uh, in your life, amen, and God using you in prayer. Number one, if I say number one, you have to have a desire. You have to have a desire to have a meaningful relationship with the Lord, amen, to have the atomic power of prayer operating in your life, amen. People are depending upon you Amen. Depending on your prayers, can I get an amen? And so we need to have the thirst to have a, a relationship, to, a desire to have a relationship with the Lord. We must first have a thirst. Amen. You must be thirsty for the relationship. Now, Psalm 42, 1 through 3 says, As a deer longs for streams of water, so I long for you, O God. I thirst for God, for the living God, I say. When will I be able to go and appear in God's presence? I cannot eat. I weep day and night. All day long they say to me, where is your God? So the psalmist was hungry and the psalmist was thirsty and the psalmist had a desire, everybody say desire, to see God, to be in God's presence. He was thirsty for God. Can I get an amen? And so just like physical thirst. You know, if somebody's thirsty, they tend to look for water. You know, water, water. I need water. And you know, if you're thirsty for water, you'll go look high and low. Amen. And this is the most, one, water is one of the most powerful symbols in the Bible concerning the Holy Spirit and a relationship with God and a heart seeking after God. So number one, if I say number one, to have the atomic power of prayer in your life, you must have a desire for a powerful relationship with the Lord, and you must be you must be thirsty for it, and go after it, and long and long for that. And I mean, as the deer pants for the water brook, I'm telling you, David said, "Oh, the, my soul thirst." For Jesus said on the last and final day of, of the feast, He said, "If anyone's thirsty." Say, I'm thirsty. He said, let him come to me and drink. And Isaiah 55, 1 says, Ho, oh, let him who is thirsty, you know, come by and eat. Can I get an amen? So you must have an intense desire for the water of life and have an on fire relationship with God. Amen. Hallelujah. And I'm telling you, the power of God will move in your life. Secondly, to have the atomic power of prayer operating and see mighty miracles and blessings, you must have holiness. Now, what is holiness and sanctification? It's being separated from the world and dedicated unto God. So to have the power of prayer working in your life, we must be dedicated to God. 
and separated from the world. Now, friends, this is not perfection, okay? We all fall short. But as I mentioned, our desire and our passion uh, and our longing is for a relationship with the Lord in his presence and to walk in holiness. Amen. So David said this in Psalm 66, 18. He said, if I cherished or regarded inequity in my heart, then, Lord, you would not have heard me. So, hallelujah, when we're walking after the Lord, when we're hungry and thirsty for him, amen, and we're walking dedicated to him, uh, sanctified to him and separated from the world, amen, we will see God, we will hear God, and our prayers will be powerful. Can I get an amen? And they'll have atomic power, amen, that will blow the devil to smithereens and bring forth blessings into our lives. I'm telling you, our prayers will break every chain, lift every burden, destroy every yoke. I'm not talking to you about just teaching about prayer at church. I'm just preaching about prayer. I'm talking about shut the book. Amen. Close the thing down, my friends, and let's get in there. And let's start praying. Hallelujah. Get up early. The psalmist said, early will I seek you. Jesus rose up early and spent time in prayer. Hallelujah. And I think it was Martin Luther said, I've got so much to do today that I'm going to spend the first three hours in prayer. Amen. I know we can't spend three hours in prayer. But if we will pray first, if you'll wake up and say, good morning, Holy Spirit. Lead me today, Lord Jesus. Guide me today. I need your presence. I need your power. I'm telling you, when we thirst for that kind of relationship and we walk in sanctification and dedication unto God, hallelujah, we will see powerful things happen in and through our life. Because Matthew 5, 8 says this, it says, blessed in the, are the pure in heart, for they shall, let say they shall, they shall see God. In other words, God will show you as you call upon him, Jeremiah 33, 3, you call upon him, he shows you great and unsearchable things that you know not. He'll show you things for you, concerning family members. He'll show you things concerning the nation. He'll ser show you things concerning the nations. Amen. Hallelujah. And to have this kind of atomic power in prayer. Number three, we need to love. Amen. We, to have a desire for God, we must love God. Amen. If we love him, we'll love ourselves and we'll love others. So to have the atomic power of prayer, number one, we have, need to have thirst and have desire. Number two, we need to be sanctified, set apart, and holy. Amen. And number three, we need to walk in love. Everybody say, I need to walk in love. And listen to 1 John 4, 7 in the Amplified. Hallelujah. Let me get my paper over here. It says, Beloved, let us love one another, for love springs from God, and he who loves his fellow man is begotten, born of God, and is coming progressively, progressively now, to know and understand God. So as we love our brothers, and we love one another, as we love God, we'll come to know him progressively, Amen. Able to perceive and recognize and get a better and clearer knowledge of him. So we'll know how to pray. We'll know what to pray. Can I get an amen? And hallelujah, if we be in evil, know how to give good gifts to our children. If we be in evil, know how to give uh, the whole, uh, good gifts to our kids. How much more will the Father give good gifts and the Holy Spirit cannot get an amen, and we will see him and we'll know exactly how to pray as we become progressively acquainted with our Lord. We'll have his heart, and we'll pray what he wants us to pray. Can I get an amen? And what does First John 5, 14 and 15 say? If we ask anything according to his will, he hears us, and if he hears us, then we know we have the petitions that we have asked for him. And finally, my brethren and sister, we just need to obey God. Hallelujah. We love him, we'll obey him. So if we're going to have atomic power in prayer and see supernatural, powerful things happen 
in our life, in our family, in our church, in our nation, in our finances, in our business. We need to thirst for God, have a desire for Him. Number two, my friends, we need to be set apart and sanctified unto God. Number three, we need to walk in love, hallelujah, and love and bless others. And number four, walk in obedience. Can I get an amen? For Jesus in Philippians 2, 8, check this out. After he had appeared in human form, he abased and humbled himself still further and carried his obedience to the extreme of death, even death on the cross. Amen. So our obedience, not only in good times, I mean, but even in bad and difficult moments, prove our love for God. And my friends, when we pray, when we know prayer, K-N-O-W, we will know power. And I'm telling you what, we'll see magnificent things happen. So I want to pray right now, if you'll lift your hands, I'm praying right now in the name of Jesus that the power and spirit of prayer will begin to come upon you, that the spirit of intercession will stir in you in the name of Jesus Christ, that you'll be all of a sudden more hungry and more thirsty in your relationship, pursuing him like a deer pants for water in Jesus' name, that you sanctify and set yourself apart and walk in the holiness and power of God in Jesus' name, that you walk in love, my friends, for love never fails, and that you show your love for God by obeying him instantly and quickly. And I'm telling you, when that happens, there is a release of the Holy Spirit. There's a release of the atomic power of God. I'm telling you, those family members who've been drunk for 30 years will start getting saved. Those kids, wayward kids, will turn around. Can I get an amen? That financial mount will be moved and provision will show up. Hallelujah. That sick body will be healed as you intercede and pray. My goodness, mountains will move in the earth. Valleys will be exalted. Hallelujah, we'll bind the kings with fetters, their nobles with shackles of iron church, for this is the heritage for all the saints, Psalm 149. So my friends, we have an anointing from the Holy One. We have the most awesome ministry. Hallelujah, fueled by the presence and power of God as we hunger and thirst, set ourselves apart, Love God with all our heart, mind, strength, and soul, and obey him instantly. Hallelujah. And promptly, we will see mighty things in 2018 and beyond. Can I get an amen? So, my friends, go into your room. Shut your door and pray to your Father in secret. And your Father who sees in secret will release atomic power. And blessings will fall. And he will reward you openly. Can I get an amen? Hallelujah. Guys, I appreciate you watching. Take this, share it, inspire people to pray, start a prayer meeting, call some friends over, glory to God, and start praying and seeking God and watch God move in atomic power. I mean, the devil trembles when people start praying. Glory to God. Be blessed. I'm out. Shalom, shalom. We'll see you next time on Life Nuggets, of course. See ya.